Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So my seagrass farm, <laughs> I, I is right below the turtle farm. And I bred up a bunch more turtles because I wanted more scutes and more uh, turtles. And, uh, yeah. And then, so I got the scutes. I mean, I have more. 46, not quite a full stack. But um, I had a couple of the babies got out. And I think what was happening is I, a bunch of the ones I bred all wanted to lay eggs right over there. So, yeah. Um, so they were kind of waiting their turn. And it's possible I still have some uh, pregnant turtles here. And they just haven't uh, been able to do their thing. So uh, a couple of the babies got out. One of them fell all the way down there. It was wandering around inside my little uh, warped uh, fungus. Oh, that one grew tall. Wow. Uh, anyway, was wandering around there. Another got down into the the seagrass farm. Yeah. Anyway, turtles seem happy. Uh, no new glow squids, but I have glow squid ink. Um, every now and then I'm wandering by and get a new glow squid. And then over here, a couple things. I put some breakers on the cactus here, on the cactus farm. So uh, just what I want to buy every now and then, there's there's a couple pieces of cactus laying about, and they'll despawn over time. It's okay. It's not a high-efficiency farm. It wasn't intended to be. But this is actually a reasonably good spawning spot right here for the glow squid, which is kind of cool. But not today. And then if I go up here... Oh, wait. Go all the way down. Turn around. Don't, don't, no spoilers. So down on this next chunk over here, I built a couple things. Farm. So I went and just planted all the stuff. I need more chests here, I think. But these guys need a fair amount of light. And so I had to put in more. These are waterlogged slabs. So the farmland stays hydrated and they grow faster. I put them in in stripes, in rows, so that they, in theory, grow faster. But I had to put in more um, more light in this in these strips here where the water is uh, than I had originally planned because otherwise the guys out here don't grow. And then, ooh, there's something above me. Let's go see what that is. Pumpkins. So I'm going to put watermelons up next as well. Uh, so I've got the four basic crops down below, but then I put pumpkins here. And I came up with the pattern here, and it's pretty darn fast. Um, the goal it was to provide every stem, except for the ones right along the edges, but every stem has four dedicated spots where it can grow a pumpkin. And... Uh, that maximizes the speed at which an individual stock will produce pumpkins. And I bet you, when I get done going through and harvesting these pumpkins, uh, that they will that there will be new ones for me to go get because they're that fast. Yeah, like this guy, I already got him. Um, so that's uh, not bad. So I can sit here and sort of go through and harvest pumpkins all day long. Not that I'm going to. None of these were intended to be high efficiency farms. That's not the point. I just wanted some of everything in the area. See, look, I already got you. And this one only has three spawning spots. See, they just they keep popping up. You saw that one right there. So 
If I needed a stack of pumpkins for some reason, it probably wouldn't take me all that long to get it. I'm at 49 now. And if I waited, if I just kept at this for a few minutes, I bet I would have a stack in, uh, in no, ooh, goodness, the one grew right on me. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64. I'm going to stop there because otherwise it would never stop. Uh, stack of pumpkins. So that's uh, that's something. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to do the same thing for the watermelons. Uh, do a watermelon one up above and trying to match this pattern. I think I found a pattern that uses the space that I have under the the rules that I came up with as effectively as possible. That is, every stock has maximum number of spaces where a where melon can grow that's dedicated to it and i've got a few spots along here where um and where nothing can grow i put in light start with light over in the corner here so there's a few wasted spots but i don't know that in this constraint so 14 by 14 area because i have as edge of slabs around the the edge of the chunk. Um, I don't know that I can do it any more compact than this. It was over here. I kind of break some patterns. So one of these guys only has a couple. This this one only has two spawnable spots. But figure two is better than none. So anyway, that's that. I've got the same tree farms. Never mind what's in the inventory. Um, let's go down. So. We are in Minecraft 119.2 on, uh, on the new server. So my old server company shut down and uh, it was sad, but whatever. So they haven't shut down yet. And then they didn't come up with a, a partnership with anyone to say, oh, let's... Uh, We'll give you a deal on, on servers until I had already found somebody. And I'm very happy with this in terms of price and performance. So we will uh, we'll see how it goes. Nobody else has been on yet because I haven't communicated the new address to anyone. Um, so, but while I was doing the update, um, the Lorax asked about a feature that he had seen on a video and um, I added it. So it's a it's one of the vanilla tweaks plugins that Zoomavoid has on his thing. They use it on the on the Hermitcraft server. So so I add it. And it's armor stands. It's armor stand statues. Which always seemed like kind of fun. Um, it allows you to put arms on on armor stands and put things in their hands and position them, and pose them, because all that stuff is possible with with uh, commands. Just no way of doing it. So the the way they accomplish it is they give you a book that has a bunch of links in it, and you issue commands. Oh. I'm not going to go back down there, but I also set up another ward area. Um, but before I hand out the server address to everyone, I wanted to hand out a little present. So let's go do that. So here's Lorax's portal. Yeah, I'm going to place it down obnoxiously right in front of the portal. I don't want it there. I want to face it. Oh, wait. Okay, so I've got, I, I made a couple of these books and an armor stand. And then I'm going to put a sign on it that says, New Feature. And then, 
because I have plenty of bone meal. Make that white. Oh, it makes it so readable on the on the spruce signs. And because I now have a reasonable support by glow squid ink. Bam! Oh, it stands out. New feature. Bop. Okay. The question is where do I, where do I put barbs? I have a couple of them. So Barb's got multiple places. She's got her village area here. And she's got her cavern area here. Which I think is where she spends a lot of her time. And then down over here, she's got the beach house. I don't know where she spends most of her time. I'll put it in front of the cavern. Because I think when she's just on futzing about it, it tends to be here. So... Same thing. Oh. oh, that's the way I wanted the other one to go. All right, so book, armor stand. Yep. And then sign. I made three, so I could go put one over the beach house too. And then grab this. Oh, uh, VexFX hasn't been on in a little while. So I don't know. Pow. Okay. Book. And yeah, I understand. So I don't know if he... We'll see it, but let's go over to his place. shoot pow thank you hey kitties okay so now here i'm going to be a little more obnoxious about this i'm going to put it he built this on evens why did he do that okay doesn't matter don't question it there we go and book and armor stand I like the horse. All right. Yeah, if I had a little more energy, I might go and actually set up an armor stand and position it and make that part of it, but I don't. Uh, I don't know that I want to do that. So there we go. So if he goes inside his place. New feature. Oh, wow. Statues. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, that's that's that. I think he has anything new to look at. I actually, I came over and stole some of the farm resources for, for my underground farm area from his farms here. Um, I don't think he had mine. Um, I had, suppose I had some of my place too, but. Yeah, this is the shortcut there. So anyway, that's uh, that's what I've got planned. So now that I've laid out the presents, I suppose I could pull one out here as well. But I don't know how much how much use the beach house gets. And I can always message Barb to let her know that that it's uh, where I left it. So here we go. Back into here. Now let's go check out the uh, the Netherrack farm. Not 
super uh, exciting at all. Um, and I don't know how necessary it actually is, but um, I think I'm going to start taking some of these chunk areas that I've dug out and start building rooms. Oh, that was another word from there, but we'll go back up to it. Um, so I can build out functional rooms, like I can build a brewing room. And I can build a little uh, brewing machine in there. I've done that in the past. It's, I think I can come up with some improvements on what I came up with before. There's plenty of tutorials out there, people building brewing machines. Um, that sugar cane grows so fast. I've got so much extra headroom here because these things can grow up tall, like that one that we saw down below grew. And then the mushrooms, they can grow. So there's an extra space above it here. And then you can see it there. Another wart. Just a whole chunk of another wart. Yep. So this will get... Um, have and of course harvesting close to the edge here might actually kick some off the side uh, accidentally that's okay the goal here isn't to get as much another word as possible although it's interesting because the the trees the fungus the giant the giant fungus um, down below, uh, the red ones, the crimson ones, their leaves are actually netherwort blocks. And they compost up really well. So I could take these, craft up, take, you know, any leftover spares of this, craft up netherwort blocks and compost it. Lots of free bone meal. My inventory is full, isn't it? Okay. So. And I need to get myself some swift sneak or no, not swift sneak, whatever. Soul, whatever. The enchantment that lets me walk at regular speed on soul sand. Which means I need to do some pickle and barter. May as well set up a pick Lombardian area in the nether. I don't think I can bring them in here, right? If I bring the piglins into the overworld, they they transform. I think they become zombified. So, so there's no way to set up pig bartering in the overworld. Uh, ideally, maybe there will be a way of getting them... Um, Maybe if I break a hole in the nether, or the bedrock on the nether, nether roof, maybe there's some way I could get some piglins up into, onto the roof of the nether, so I can, when I get stuff, when I get gold from the gold farm, I can just hop down below and trade it with the piglins. Yeah, I know I missed one. Or three. There we go. And... Oops. Whew. It's all another warp. And again, I think this would give me a whole stack of nether warp blocks. Which isn't... They grow faster in the dark. Because the ones that have grown the fastest are at the little nodes where it's the darkest. Interesting. Okay. I'll have to look that up. 
Okay, well, yeah. All right, well, let me go put all this stuff away and uh, wrap this up for now. I just wanted to do this, and then I need to message everyone about the new Cerbera address so that people can come on and explore. And we're on 1.19, so now we got the deep dark to worry about and the warden and all that. And, I mean, this area here could well have been an under one of those cities. Which won't be now. They don't do post-generation uh, updates. but um, So I'll have to wander out about if I want to find a warden. Which I don't see why anybody would ever want to. The warden is kind of an annoying mob. It doesn't serve any purpose. It has no real drops. It's just... It's just annoying. Uh, but the, the little shards in that you can find in the chests at the the ancient cities. Um, uh, those could be cool. And the record disc that you can get there is kind of a neat one. So it's a new record disc. Come on. Oh. Down. Uh, no more glow squid. Okay, their spawning is fairly rare. It's not that big of a deal. But, this is where I'm keeping my glow squid ink. So I'll do that. Nope. Hey Squishy, what's up? And that away. So this is all from this composter machine. It's, it's only a single. It's only a single composter. I could probably. Oh, you know I should. Oh, I should totally add another composter. A couple more hoppers, another composter. Move this just over here so it's feeding two hoppers. I can compost twice its speed. Not that it composts slowly. Okay. Well, there we go. That was it. Um, it's kind of my junk chest up here. All right, well, that'll do it for now. This is Theron. Thank you for watching. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I'll see you next time. Bye.